gotta go to Dragonheart Plaza. I got this gun for you, Luis. It helps to be prepared. Yo, we prepare for the apocalypse with this shit, Tony. This is hardcore. Yeah, well, I know a guy. What are we doing in Chinatown? Take a guess. Another job for that Rocco. Oh, yeah? That moron pal of yours. After what happened at the driving range? We still owe that pimply fuck? I did a lot of dumb things in my life, Luis, but none of them were dumber than borrowing from those pricks. Really, Tom? Because you've done some real dumb things. I mean, you're still going out with Evan. This is serious. The fucking mafia. Buster. Even if we did have the money to pay them back, they wouldn't take it. They're gonna ride us into the ground. But you don't have the money, do you, Tom? Hey, what about that thing in London? They gonna pull us through this? Didn't I tell you? Shit, London ain't happening. And I wouldn't travel to that side of the pond anytime soon if you were thinking about it. Fuck, bro. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. Again. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies, too, huh? Both sides of the fence. You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. This is Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to, uh, how do I put this, to uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs, pretty badly, too. We got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you, period. Let's go, Tom. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um... You are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues. Okay, the guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, shit. They're coming for us. They heard that shot. They're fucking coming. They're fucking surrounded. I'm getting tired of this shit. Luis, will you do me the honor? Move up to me. All around you. You are defeated. Let's go, Tragalete. 
It's me or you, bro! It's me or you! Shit, long shit, wait a minute! Shit, what you think it's got it? Hey, old ass fucker! Come on!
we get out of that place? That was worse than spit class. My fucking heart. Hey, you need to look after yourself. I'm soaked through. I must have lost three pounds in sweat. Yeah, don't go looking for a bright side. Rocco's big mouth nearly got us killed. Fuck! When I get a hold of him... You won't do anything, Lou. You'll play it nice. We can use this if we're smart. We were dumb enough to walk into the death trap for the kid. I doubt we're gonna pull brains out of our asses now. Leave it to me. You just concentrate on looking pretty. Yeah, absolutely, T. You've done some... You're gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I got a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my pills! Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. <laughs>